Hey, give me an intro. Give me an intro to the vlog. Say something. Boo! What's going on, world? Since Jack doesn't like to talk, he's a little shy. Um, so I was making a video, but now I'm canceling it and I'm starting all over again. Um, my AC stopped working. The clutch ended up burning out. Now, I was replacing the clutch and I noticed I couldn't stop it. I couldn't stop the actual uh, AC clutch or the AC pump from spinning. So, I just got to figure out why. And I once I took it off, I actually looked around at it a little bit. So, I'll show you what my issue was. Now, this AC pump that I have is like a year old that I bought in the middle of nowhere in... Uh, Alabama I think it was so like a year ago um, so now I gotta I gotta replace it again but now I'm going with the obviously one from Kenworth so it should be better technically I, I put a new pulley and a new uh, AC pump so everything should be brand new for now so I'll show you guys what we're doing I'll show you what my issue was and what it is so this AC compressor this is called the York style mount where it's up and down and not sideways like your regular one would be. So if you take this off, you see here there's a hole. So that hole is not supposed to be there. That hole is supposed to be like this right here. You see how this is coming out and the other one's a hole. Now that, the reason for that is when you got your pulley, your AC pulley, it's got this little groove in it. As you can tell right here, that's supposed to sit inside that. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. So it doesn't like slide, you know? So it actually grabs. So that's the issue there. And uh, my old one, it was completely burnt out. So I ended up buying this, thinking it was this, which it was, but turns out this compressor is pretty bad too even though it might be a good compressor it might still work but that in fact that part is missing or broken i'm just gonna get rid of it and put a whole brand new compressor on it's only about 260 dollars not a big deal and the uh, clutch itself was about 80 dollars so about three something that's the part number if anybody cares these are of course I'm sure Remans, but yeah, so I'll show you how to remove it, get all this stuff off, and then our AC machine broke. But since our AC uh, machine broke, our neighbors have one, so I'll be going over there and um, having them recharge it for me before I go and start buying bottles and do it by myself. So yeah, so let's undo these and uh, pull this off put this on this is like a fire retardant you want this facing up that way that's on okay I'm just gonna torque them down And then we got this groove with this, just line it up. Like this. We take our washer, throw it in the gutter. Take this, screw it on. Pretty self-explanatory. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my drill, get it on there nice and tight. Just grab the impact. it she can only go so far but see now this one is good shouldn't be spinning besides the pulley right the pulley is the only thing that should be turning the inner part can turn but it's hard versus my other one where it just spins um loosely so i'm sure my other one is done but look how beautiful this thing is it's gonna complete my motor for sure <laughs> now you got these uh, four bolts down here. 
right underneath. Oh boy. What I do to show you guys the views. Right here. The 15 mil for my truck. I don't know what your truck would be, but there is four of them, so I might have to remove the alternator because there's one down here. I don't know, I'm gonna reach it without actually removing this guy. And then there's one there, and then one on the other side in the back. So it's gonna be a little rough, but we'll get it worked out, I guess. So of course, I have to remove the alternator. And then uh, this one happened to be a 14 versus the front one where it was a 15. So I don't know if it was stripped or what the deal was with that one, but I'm getting it off anyway, so thank God. Compared to two, identical. <clears throat> I don't like the part number. Part numbers are different. This is 5392-91, or it's 53092. This is a 588-68. So whatever, I guess Kenworth and Universal has their own part numbers, but anyway. It's not much of a difference. I mean, for most part, it's the same thing. <clears throat> Identical, actually. It's got this bolt, that bolt's there. Made in the USA. Yeah, so they're identical, actually. I don't... Uh, that's the only thing that's different, I guess, is right here is 12-5512. This is D-5512A. Otherwise, same thing. So, there's that. So let's uh, throw this on and go from there. Not that I know of. I don't plan on doing anything. We'll see though. So. Just lays on there like that. Huh? That's a good one. This one. What? Oh, uh, it's like like yeah, whole like thousand, thousand degrees something. Uh, this shit. It helps. It helps with the temp. You can like when the truck's running, you can put your hand on it. Yeah. It's pretty nice. But yeah. So job permission only for fishing, huh? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you just fucking let it get, bro. Hey, you gotta you talk to your wife. Huh? So he fuck up too much, you know, like this. Yeah, oh, I have one friend in uh, Jersey. My nephew's for, uh, friend. Yeah. He's a doctor. Like, he's gonna be a doctor. Right. He's under house arrest. <laughs> like, last three years. From his wife? No. He, well, he fuck up everything. The fiance is supposed to, like, get, like, like big wedding. Yeah. He went to India because over here he's doing too much drug. Oh, shit. They sent him to India, like, study over there. Like, one made for him over there. Every, everything, you know? Yeah. Then he'll come with some girl over there, like some random girl. And the girl knows, she find out, oh, this guy's gonna fucking marry. Uh -huh. They drink and they call fucking the girl like 2 a.m. <laughs> They're like, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, shit. So everything is fucked up. So after that, he's on a house arrest. From his wife? No, no, from mom. Oh. He's not married yet. <laughs> now he found another girl. And he was chilling with us. His fucking mom is calling like non-stop. Yeah. Oh, my like, bro, fucking. That's funny. Hello? What's up, bro? I love Wishu. I don't know if you guys hear that. But that's so now, I'm just gonna grab the belts. I'm gonna throw it on. Preferably over there first. Down here. So, on my alternator, it actually just moves right back and forth on, on this rod. So, the more I loosen it, the more I can push it in. So I should be able to do this one-handed. Then mine is a double uh, double belt, right? So there's one. And there's one down here. These are pretty new belts, as you saw in one of my last videos. So no point of changing the belts while I'm here because they're brand new. So there's that. Bang. Look at that. So now what I do is just bring this, bring this nut up until it hits the back of this. And then you turn this nut till it pushes the alternator as high as it can this way and tightens up the belt. And then this one is for security. Tighten it down and then it clamps it together. The two are clamped and it can't go up 
or down and then you have this one this nut and bolt which will pinch it down and it really can't go anywhere so then we'll get to the ground up here now that our belts are tight Let's see it's pretty tight so we're gonna tighten this bolt up right here it's three quarters and then now i'll show you what we're doing with this so this is your ground right here for this wire it's gonna go here and even though inside it's not painted so the bolt will make a good ground but i still sand it down because last thing you want you to do is uh your ac just cut in and out whatever the case may be so i just sand it down get the paint off make it nice like so you can't beat a nice ground right there you have it the grounds are on this goes from here make sure it's nice and tight straight into here into the connection make sure it's nice and sealed so there's that now just clean up the tools Put the other one together and toss it away. Over here, back at Russo. Doing a recharge, but right now I'm doing a vacuum leak test. And then uh, we'll charge it up. But yeah, if you guys are ever in uh, Sacramento, Russo Parts and Services, they got a bunch of trucks, parts, full shop. You name it, they do it all here. So, if you guys are ever in the neighborhood of Sacramento, just look up Russo Truck Parts. And we passed. That's cool. So far, now we just got to add about four pounds. And we should be good to go. Right, so, we're back at the yard. Look at the difference. So, we got an AC charged. Got brand new steers put on. Got a little bit more work coming, but... Here's the difference between a bagged. These guys are identical specs as far as as far as the uh, sleeper goes, the cab, the hood. Uh, this has got a Detroit that's a cat, <clears throat> but that won't make a difference anyway. So this truck looks massive compared to that one. It's pretty insane. <laughs> oh, fender right here to the hood. Uh, it's about two foot difference right here. As you can tell, my head goes over this one. Nowhere near over this one. That's pretty crazy. But, uh, bags do a huge difference. And uh, those on the black truck are 22.5s. These are 24.5s. These are, I'm not sure if they're 11 or no, they're just uh, 22 low pros. So, huge difference. But anyway, everything we needed to do was done for the day until. Uh, so probably tomorrow so not sure if this would be a separate vlog of its own or if it's gonna be two vlogs or i'm gonna put it to another one so whatever you guys are watching i hope you're enjoying it what's up buddy look at the difference 